Is it possible to just take a trading indicator or strategy from TradingView and make it trade on Bybit without writing a single line of code or using any third-party apps or websites, since those are usually paid? Yes, it is possible. And now I'll show you how. In this guide, I'll show you in detail where to get an indicator or strategy, how to properly analyze its effectiveness and validity, so you don't end up losing your money. Because some strategies look really good, but when you start using them in practice, they turn out to be unprofitable. This is very important. Please pay attention to this. And then I'll show you how to actually make the strategy work on the Bybit Exchange without having to buy any paid subscription. My name is Maxim, and this is the channel Thinking Out Loud. Let's get into it. And to start, we'll need at least some kind of strategy to test it, check its effectiveness, and then connect it to Bybit. This is not an ad for Bybit. Bybit hasn't paid me for advertising yet. Bybit, get in touch with me. And basically, you can use these instructions on any exchange. But Bybit just made it really convenient and nice, so that's why I'll be showing it on their platform. So, let's start with the strategy. Here is the trading view screen in front of you. This is my strategy, which I put together in the last video with you guys. Well, with those who watched that video. Using neural networks from the Supertrend and DMA indicators. This is a backtest over three and a half years, since July 2021. On Solana, daily chart, Solana dailies. It made 2,834%. So, it grew from $100 to $2,834. Overall, that's a pretty good result for such a simple strategy that we put together without a single line of code. If you haven't watched that video yet, a hint will pop up here somewhere. Click on it and check it out, it's interesting. For now, let me minimize this and show you where to find strategies. You just click this indicators button here and type in strategy. A list of strategies will open up. These are my strategies. Right here, you'll see a list of technical strategies appear. You can basically pick any of them. There are tons and tons here. These are official technical strategies based on a single indicator, and these are strategies that people publish. There are all sorts of strategies here. You can load any of them and test them out. Basically, as you can see, 22,000 people are watching and using this strategy. So maybe it's not that bad. And here's another one with 22,000 people. Maybe it's also a decent trading strategy and worth taking a look at. But let me show you the strategy one created myself. Well, simply because it's pretty straightforward and clear, and I know exactly how it works and why it earns as much as it does. Now let's talk about its effectiveness. Well, 2,800% in three years is honestly a pretty solid result, right? But as you can see, at the beginning it didn't really show much and only started making money when there was some movement in Solana. And that's natural, since this is a trend-following strategy. So, if you're using someone else's strategy, not your own, you should read up on how it works look at the charts and its trades before you try to set it up and analyze it. Because if you don't look and don't understand what it actually does, you're unlikely to be able to pick the right parameters and make money with the strategy. And since it's a trend-following strategy, these kinds of strategies don't work on small time frames. Look, this time frame is daily and it shows 2000%. Let's check the 4-hour chart. Only 1000%. Let's look at the 1-hour chart. 56% and we would have already been in the red for a long time. Let's check, I don't know, the 15-minute chart. It's just endless losses. You see what I mean? This is a trend-following strategy, and it's important to understand that. It's important to know how to analyze strategies. Let's go back to the time frame it was designed for. That's one day. And now I'll show you some more parameters that you absolutely need to check. To even see the parameters available in a strategy, you need to click here on the gear icon. And in the window that opens, you'll find inputs. These are the parameters of the strategy itself. As you can see, I don't have many parameters here, ATR, ATR factor, and basically the DMA length. That's it, nothing else. And allow long and allow short. If anything, I'll provide a link to the strategy. If you want to modify it, I'll even give you a link to the code for this strategy. You can do whatever you want with it. On the second tab, Properties, we look at the properties for applying this strategy. Look, my starting capital is set to $100. Base currency, well, by default it's the base currency, which I have set to dollars since Solana is traded against the dollar. Order size is 100% of equity. That means 100% of my balance. So it will always trade with the entire position. Since this is a trend-following strategy and it's only long, it will only trade with the trend. Sometimes it won't get it right and will take some losses, but mostly it will trade with the trend and make profits. You can also set it in contracts, meaning it will specify how many Solanas to buy, or you can set it in dollars. But when you're testing over several years, of course it's better to use a percentage of your capital, because your capital is constantly growing and, accordingly, the strategy uses more and more money. That is, if the strategy is profitable, of course. 
what is important to look at? It's important to check the pyramiding parameter. This is how many orders it can, well, the strategy can hold at the same time. This is a trend following strategy, so this parameter can be anything, it won't affect anything, yeah. That is, I can set it to whatever number I want, it won't affect the results because the strategy will always hold only one order at a time. But in some other strategies, this will have an impact, and that's important. It's important to keep this in mind, because sometimes strategies allow you to open three orders, five orders. And, well, so this parameter needs to be checked. The commission parameter is also very important, since here the commission is set to zero. But exchanges don't operate with zero commission. Exchanges always charge some kind of commission. In the case of Bybit, the commission is 0.1%. And it might seem like that's not much. But if you're trading intraday, it drastically changes the picture. Our number changed a little bit. Well, now it's 2,759%. Still very acceptable, right? So, well, we paid the commission. At the very least, you absolutely need to set and check these parameters and take a look, especially if your strategy isn't like mine, where it just holds one position, closes, opens, closes, opens. And, well, basically, one order, nothing complicated. But when it comes to more complex strategies, especially intraday ones on, say, an hourly chart, this set commission can just wipe out all your profit. Be sure to check your strategy for this parameter. So, let's close the settings window. As we can see, our strategy is still profitable, with a profit factor of 3.76. That means for every stop loss, we earn almost, well, a bit more than three and a half take profits, 46% profitable trades, and only 13 trades over three and a half years. That's not a lot. This parameter max equity drawdown is 56%, which means we spent a long time in drawdown. So there were a few losing trades, but then it recovered everything, made up for it, and ended up making money. We've analyzed the strategy, so let's close it. Of course, this is a very simple strategy with only three parameters, so that's why we were able to analyze it so quickly. There are strategies with literally hundreds of parameters, but those usually come with a description. In other words, the person who created that strategy understood that people wouldn't figure it out on their own, so they wrote instructions on how to use it. Now I'll show you what that looks like. We collapse our strategy, go back to indicators, and type in strategy. Then we find some strategy, let's say the one with 22,000, for example, and click here on read more. We've opened the strategy description, and right away the guy writes that he created the strategy a long time ago. Please be careful. Indeed, it's September 29th, 2014. So basically, the strategy is old, right? Here, he writes about how to use it. Of course, most of it will be in English, but there are neural networks that can translate anything for you. There are some reviews. Looks like there's even some code here, or maybe these are errors. Someone is writing something to him. So you can read it and decide whether it's worth using the strategy and which settings would be optimal for it. All right, we figured out the strategy. And if you have an indicator and want to turn it into a strategy, because unfortunately, Bybit only works with strategies, just watch the video that popped up here as a suggestion. That's my previous video, where I show how to create a strategy from an indicator using neural networks without writing a single line of code. But for now, let's log into Bybit and see what you need to click on in Bybit. So I've logged in to the Bybit exchange. I hope you don't need a login guide. You manage that without me. Then uh, I hovered over my profile picture, clicked on account, and here in the left menu, I selected sub account and ended up in this window. I already have one test sub account. Of course, I prepared for this meeting with you. It's not like I just randomly decided to tell you something here. And now we're going to create another sub account together. Here, there's this orange button. We click create sub account, standard sub account. We enter its name, link it to the unified trading account, simply because nothing else is supported. I didn't set a login password because, well, this is a test account. What's up with it? Of course, you can set one, but then you might run into connection issues. We click confirm, approve everything they ask for, and now we have another sub account like this. Oh, we click transfer because there's no money on it right now and we need funds to trade. So let's go ahead and click transfer. All right, I'll take the money from my test account from the unified trading account. That's important because there can't be any money in the funding account and transfer it to the guide account, also to the unified trading account because otherwise you won't be able to trade. How much are we taking? All of it, as much as possible, three are being used. Some deal got stuck there, but whatever. Now we click the switch button to actually connect to the account we just created and continue setting it up there. We've been switched to the sub account window and right here it immediately suggests linking a trading view alert to your Bybit account. That's not what you need, so you don't have to click here. Instead, we go and click the trade button, select futures, simply because it doesn't allow spot trading through trading view. Bybit currently only allows trading futures and we pick any contract, it doesn't really matter to us. The regular Bybit trading terminal window has opened, so we click got it. Basically, I think everyone is familiar with this, so we just close it. 
we don't really pay attention to all this, we don't need any of it. So what do we need? First and foremost, we need to select the same instrument as the one we've chosen in TradingView. Since on TradingView we've selected the Solana and USDT.P perpetual contract, this is important. You need to make sure you don't just pick any sole USDT, but specifically sole USDT perpetual contract Bybit. You need to select exactly this one so that the chart you have open is precisely this one. And here as well, let's click right here on Bitcoin USDT and select perpetual futures. Not these futures, but specifically perpetual contracts, perpetual futures. That's exactly what we need. It simply won't work with the others. Type in Seoul, and it will show us Seoul USDT. Look Seoul USDT, let's check that it's the Seoul USDT Perpetual. Now we head over here to the right, see the Tools tab, and click on it. And here there's a special button, Signal Trading with Webhook. Click on it. It shows us our parameters here, $45 in the account index price. Well, that's the Solana price, basically. We don't need any of that. We click the Create Webhook button. Here's a three-minute quick guide. You can watch it if you want. I've already watched it, so I just click, I confirm the above. Here we've selected the asset Solana, Sol USDT, and the position mode is one way. We can't influence this in any way, because for now Bybit only allows trading in one direction, long. That is, it only lets you buy sell, buy sell, buy sell. Shorting is not allowed. So we only have one thing left, to enter a name. Let's call it Test Sol. Click Create Webhook. And here it is, our webhook. These details right here are, in fact, the webhook. Also, this is important. Read this disclaimer. Bybit doesn't highlight anything in red for no reason. It says that you shouldn't share your webhook data with just anyone. Remember, guys, crypto is very risky, and security comes first here. If someone gives you advice, listen to it. Don't give your hooks to anyone. Don't do it. Because someone could just send you fake hooks, and all your money will be gone in a flash. So be extremely careful. In the end, it's your responsibility, your money, your responsibility. This is what modern crypto looks like. Don't ignore Bybit's warnings, by the way, we've done everything there, and now we're moving on to TradingView. In TradingView, sometimes our strategy panel is collapsed. It happens. Just click this little arrow down here, and the strategy settings and performance panel will expand. And here, this little alarm clock icon, that's for creating an alert. But before we create an alert together, we absolutely have to check the system settings. We need to go in here and see which parameters will be sent. Look, it says 100% of equity here. So we need to set it to $45 here because we have $45 in the account and 100% of our equity will be used for trading. If you're okay with sending the full 100%, you can just leave it as is. The commission isn't taken into account here. You need to set these two parameters correctly. You also need to check these input values for the strategy itself. They should also be set right here and now. If you've checked and everything is set up correctly, click OK. And here you see this kind of strategy report. If it looks good to you, only then do you click on the alert. You can see it right away here. See? SOL USDT perpetual one day. So this shows which chart this alert will work on. It will only work on this specific chart. This is really important. Look, you've set up Solana perpetual futures for one day with these parameters. It will save this now, and then you can switch windows, close your browser, turn off your computer, go have coffee, leave. Do whatever you want, it will keep working completely independently of you. That's why you set everything up once at the very beginning. After that, everything runs on its own, and you won't be able to change these settings. Remember that, if you want to change something, you'll need to delete the old signals and create new ones. We don't touch these parameters. There are just all sorts of different strategies here, but we'll stick with our strategy. Here, we clear the message field. This is exactly the message that will be sent to Bybit, and we just need to take it, go to Bybit, and get this message from them. Here it is, the message template. We click copy, go back to trading view, and just paste it here. That's it. We're done with the message. Now let's deal with notifications. What kind of notifications do we need? I set play sound so I get some kind of beep. And the webhook URL. So, basically, that's exactly what you need to set so the message goes to Bybit and not somewhere else. If there's any link here, we clear it and paste the message from Bybit again. Let's go over here. Here it is, the webhook URL. We take it, click copy, and bring it to the strategy. That's it. That's literally how simple it is to make the strategy work on Bybit. Damn, guys, I promised you this would be completely free. But there's a catch. Turns out, TradingView doesn't let us send webhook URLs without a subscription. And there's nothing you can do about it. You'll have to pay for at least the cheapest TradingView plan something like $12, I think. On the other hand, 
if your trading strategy doesn't make you $12 a month, maybe it's not even worth automating such a strategy, right? You'd be better off using my trading strategy. All the links will be in the description to a post where everything about how to use it will be explained. The code will be there too, in case you want to tweak or modify it for yourself. I'll give you all of this absolutely free, just like I promised. And in return, give me a like, hit the bell, and subscribe to my channel. And while you're at it, join my Telegram channel too. So we've created a webhook together. Where do you find it? How do you view it? How can you even check if everything's working or not? Look, all the webhooks are right here in the notifications. Click on the little clock icon like an alarm clock. I typed SOL into the filter here, so I don't have to show the huge number of notifications I have. Here it is our notification. If you hover over it, you can see the code it sends, the message code. Basically, it looks like what we intended to send. Let's go take a look at Bybit to see how it looks there. Here we click the launch webhook button at the bottom. We confirm that trading with webhooks is very dangerous, only for derivative trading. Blah blah blah. Well, in short, read everything is important. Read it. By clicking this button, you have confirmed that you take responsibility for your money. Well, I'll tell you something too at the same time. You are solely responsible for your money. This is not financial advice. Crypto is very dangerous for your health. And down here on the panel, we click tools, select webhook, and here it is, our webhook. Test SOL. Number of signals, zero. Number of trades, zero. Active. Realized by PNL, zero USDT. Now, when the strategy on TradingView receives a signal, it will send it basically to Bybit and a trade will happen completely and absolutely without your involvement. If you want to cancel it, just stop the hook or remove the notification from TradingView or do both. If something isn't clear to you, write in the comments or join me on my Telegram channel. Bye everyone!